Hi. Welcome to the basement. No. No. No fun skit tonight. It's Friday of another week of remote learning. I don't appear to have the camera down on the desk, but uh, the mittens to keep my fingers warm down in the basement, the dice and books left over from games, these roots papers that I've just been moving around the basement now, uh, it's all real. This is, this is what one week, two weeks of learning in this model looks like. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. That's really my cat yowling that you can hear in the background. I think we've made progress. Uh, like was promised. So at this point, uh, just reminders to show, and then we will uh, get to work for today. So what I want to show and why I'm still making a video today is that I added a remote learning dashboard to the top of your classroom stream based on the ideas that you offered me down here in 6.13. What else can I do? I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to drag that up and have that join the remote learning dashboard. Uh, I got some ideas and put some of those ideas into action. So one of those ideas is that I set up a Remind account. I've had one before. I've found other ways to connect with students. Email has worked fine. What I like about this in my mind is that you can think of this as sort of like your direct line to me. None of my other classes have a Remind right now. So if you send a remind message, it goes to my phone and I would be able to fire back really quick answers when questions are really quick. Because sometimes is this due today or tomorrow is not worth an entire email complete with formal salutation and greeting, so on and so forth. So that is there for you to use. Feel free to pop in and say hello. Uh, I also set up a frequently asked questions document. This document will be updated with questions if I get it from more than one of you. This would be a good place to check before you email or send off a remind message. You also can add your question right to the document. This will be editable, uh, but you won't see the pen up here. You will see the suggestion mode so that when you add a question, that sends an email to me that someone has suggested a change to my document. So I'll know to come check it out, approve your question, and give it an answer. Okay. Uh, one more, really two more items that were suggested. One was uh, we're a class and we are always dependent on each other for each other's great ideas. It would be really great if we could see each other's ideas, the key details that others are noticing that I'm not. I would love for that to be collected somewhere. So that was also my thinking. So I just want to remind you that that was the purpose of this journaling share out. And if we take a look at the Padlet, That's tumbleweed. Uh, nobody's shared anything out yet. It is still true until the end of the unit. So you can wait until like, these are the two that I would expect, but we're now at the end of Persepolis one, we're halfway through. So maybe throw in at least one that you're, you're proud of at this point to go up there. Uh, the second thing that we're going to do today, I think I'm done with the screen. Um, going to post discussion questions for the third reading. At the start of class, take the time to look at those discussion questions, add to your own notes in your Persepolis copy. Uh, and then what I'd like to do is the second half of class, I would like to do some Google Meet hot seats. Uh, because uh, if you notice, uh, something came home with me. No, I'm just kidding. This is just fake cards I use as a prop. I'll come up with some other way to randomize. But here's my thinking. A lot of us really enjoyed the one class that we took taking one Chronicle chapter page by page. I think we would have a really positive experience doing that with the third section of Persepolis 1. And all looking at it page by page, everyone 
takes that one minute to decide what they would talk about if they were called on. I call on that one person. That person either chats it out or talks it on the mic. In this format, both options would be fine. I sort of take over, make my observations on top of those observations, and uh, to use the vernacular of our particular group, see how much juice we can squeeze out of this thing. So I think that would be a really good way to wrap up Perceptless 1. So it won't be a Flipgrid today. It will be a Google Meet where some of us will be called to share something really specific about the page in front of them. All right, so I will see you in just a bit.